Hello, this is Clemens from Autotonic and in this video I want to show you how to make GarageBand ignore certain MIDI parts. Usually in GarageBand there is no option for that and when you go to the uh, settings uh, panel then you can see that there is only a MIDI status but you cannot uh, select or deselect any MIDI parts. So uh, GarageBand is always listening to all incoming MIDI signals and especially when you using uh, software like Autotonic that uses the two uh, different parts there uh, is a problem with note doubling as you can hear there's dissonance here because uh, it listens GarageBand listens to both the original signal and the transposed so I found a solution and it involves another application as you can see here it's called MIDI pipe app it's a small uh, software program that usually allows of uh, lots of uh, MIDI tricks. Um, let's open it. And all that you really have to do here is create uh, a new project sort of and uh, drag the this function MIDI in from the left to the right into this part section, uh, pipe section here, and then choose an, uh, the, the hardware MIDI controller part. In my case, this is the X key two that I'm currently using. And uh, click on this Entführen uh, button, uh, radiator here, radiation, radio button, how it's called. Hmm? And uh, click on Entführen, and this means actually that's uh, hijacking the signal now on this part. Okay, that's all that uh, there is to this MIDI pipe application, and we can minimize it or hide it for now because cause that's all that we have to do there. And now, um, on the left, we, I have opened here a MIDI monitor. And we can see we have still signals from our uh, hardware uh, MIDI part that we have uh, now deactivated or hijacked on the virtual system. And uh, we have the signals still on uh, that are representing our output transposing. So the other second part that we won't have GarageBand listen to. When we now open GarageBand, um, these Op already opened applications will still listen to the previously selected incoming part. But GarageBand, which was now opened afterwards, that will apply to the new status and has this uh, certain part, which was called X key 2, which represents my hardware MIDI keyboard controller. That, uh, see, that, that MIDI part is now hijacked and won't appear in GarageBand anymore. So that's the all that there is to it. Hope that helps.